Spurs fans, Paul the Hot Spur Hippie here. The first dreary day here in Nimbin. I think Nimbin's soul is connected with North London 17. Um, I don't know how long this video will be because obviously that was a really disappointing uh, affair of a game. The worst defence for me was I felt it, it was hard to stay awake. I wasn't entertained at all by that game. I suppose you could compare it a bit to our Brighton second half. It probably wasn't quite as bad as that, but man, everyone sucked. Um, we couldn't pass the ball out of defence. We couldn't pass the ball from midfield to attack, and we couldn't pass the ball from attack into the goal. And uh, Crystal Palace just looked hungrier. Uh, they wanted it. They they played us at our own game a little bit. You know, they they were taking the ball a lot of us. Um, make, we were making our own self-imposed silly mistakes and tried to change things up a bit with some substitutions didn't help because our heads weren't, just weren't in it and said afterwards that the game was very stop-start and it was, there was a lot of stops for you know, the referee was a bit of a dick and um, you know, so the momentum couldn't really get going but you've got to deal with that in a game, haven't you? And uh, as Ange said, there was an awful lot of standing around last night. Uh, the starting lineup was quite exciting because Mikey Moore was in there, which everyone wanted to see. He didn't have a great game, didn't make any difference. Um, so you know, it's really disappointing, you know, because we had um, we had the chance to uh, march up the table. A lot of teams before uh, ahead of us drew. Uh, like Aston Villa drew, even Arsenal and Liverpool uh, pulled the draw out of the bag. So there's points floating out of the table from teams above us, but as has happened a few times when it's in our own hands, we don't grab it. We didn't seize the opportunity, and it's, uh, yeah, really disappointing, man, really disappointing. So we'll see how, uh, how uh, YouTube goes this week. I probably won't be watching anything as usual because as usual there'll be people rubbing their hands with glee and uh, putting the boot into Ange saying that somehow Glasner's a better coach even though Crystal Palace are what, third from bottom or something like that. I don't know how they figure these things out but I'm no football expert. Um, the only saving grace I think is that we've got another game in a few days. So we can put this one behind us. It's our third uh, third loss in ten games, uh, but this one does come hot on the heels of the Brighton Day Bar Clay, so that don't feel good. It'd be nice to uh, get a bit of momentum up again. Maybe that starts on uh, Thursday when we uh, play Man City in the Cup. Um, Ange didn't look happy after the game. It's something we've got to sort out at our club, man. Our players switch off. Our players switch off. And uh, like I say, the biggest crime for me was, wasn't that we lost. It was just that I was just so bored during that game. Uh, my attention drifted constantly. I barely stayed awake. And uh, for me, football is all about entertainment, man. That's what it is. And I was not entertained in the slightest last night. Um... We didn't, we didn't look at any point whether we, we were going to win. Even the, you know, sometimes we have those, uh, those spells in the last five or ten minutes in a game where it looks like somehow Tottenham will get their shit together and pull the result out of the bag. Nah. Not a lot last night. Not a lot last night or this morning. Nothing of that. So I don't know what the narrative of the uh, wow, wow City till July sites is going to be. Because, I mean, their thing has been we never beat big teams. Now we've, oh, we never beat small teams, which is rubbish. It's all Angie's fault. Make fun of his surname in witty ways. Using AI to write shit songs. Yeah, very creative. Um, but, hey, a loss is a loss. You've got to just take it on the chin. And um, we did see a reaction after the, uh, after the Brighton game. We did come out of... Uh, come out of that and play a lot better in the next game and had some good performances against uh, West Ham and AZ Alkmaar and um, I'm not enjoying uh, enjoying learning these lessons of playing badly and then reacting to it I'd rather not do the playing badly bit in the first place but hey that's the way 
that's where we're at at the moment. That's where we're at. And, uh, yeah, it's gutting. It is gutting, isn't it? You know, you just, uh, just want to grab a few points. Now, fortunately, this is buggered up the Dreamo meter as well. Because uh, we, we beat Crystal Palace at their ground last year. In fact, we've, I think we've beaten them every bloody year. It's been about, it's been years since Crystal Palace have beaten us. Um, so it's back down to 66 points. So that's, that's the same number of points as we got last year. Um, still, you know, I suppose on the bright side, it was a narrow loss. It was 1-0. It wasn't 3-0 or 4-0, anything like that. Um, but that just means to me that the margins were that fine that if we could have played a little bit better could have got some points out of it but for some reason um, as, I, as I don't like seeing I've seen this too many times over the years and I think it's, we, it's, it's getting wheedled out and I think Angie's working on it but uh, walking around hands on hips not wanting to grab the game by the scruff of the collar man we've got to we've got to get rid of this i don't know how you do it though man but um hey look that's angie's job isn't it and i'd rather have Ange foster coglu in there than all the other muppets that are being touted as uh better managers at tottenham Hotspur. uh we'll see what the players say afterwards i'm getting a bit bored with uh, james madison coming out and apologizing when we play sh like shit Stop apologising, just stop playing like shit. Pass the ball, it's just basic stuff again. It was basic stuff. Our passing was so bad last night. So bad. It was The number of times... It was like how teams often play against us because we put them under such pressure. We make them make mistakes and we get the ball off them. And I mean, Palace did do that to us a bit and they were closing us down. But like I say, we're our, we're our own worst enemies. We just... Uh, I don't know. How does a professional footballer forget how to pass a football? I, I, it's a mystery to me, something I don't understand. But hey, let's hope we get on better next week. We, so we got who we got next? We got Man City. Uh, I think we got uh, Aston Villa. That'll be a, a good game to test us with. Galatasaray. So just got to get back on the horse, man. Got to get back on the horse. This uh, this upward trajectory of. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur has uh, stalled a little bit again, but hey, it's one game, one game, and we were out, we're outplayed. You know, that's what can happen in football. We can't can't win every game, I guess. But uh, want to see a bit more fight from them next time. Uh, there's no man of the match for me, uh, really. No one stood out. No one grabbed the uh, game by the scruff of the neck. Is it a case that you know? For people, all the people say that Son is a bit quiet as a captain. We seem to do a hell of a lot better when he's out there on the pitch than uh, it, either when Romero or Madison is captain. Um, and also because of Son's just skill as well, he's one of our best players. Uh, looks like we really miss him. And uh, hopefully he'll get all his uh, injury stuff sorted and come back and help us out, man. I don't want to be a one-man team, but I'm getting that impression at the moment that when the chips are down, we need more sons out there. But anyway, there you go. You learn and uh, you live and you learn. I'll just look forward to the Man City game now. Bugger that one. Just put that one behind me. There we go. Onwards and upwards. Till next time, folks. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. And come on, you Spurs.